And if you've uh, ever wondered what would happen if you mixed Would I Lie to You with Through the Keyhole, then we have the answer. Yes, This Is My House is the new game show where four contestants have to convince a panel of celebrities that they're the real owner of a house in question. But will they be able to work out who's telling the truth? Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> well, we're joined now by the host of the show, Stacey Dooley. Good morning to you. Hi, Holly. Hi, good Phil. Morning. How are you? Hi, we're darling. Good. Very well, thank really you. Nice lovely to, see to see you. So, listen, no, you're kind right of wise. used to... I loved that. Go on, go on, oh, Stacey. Sorry, sorry, I'm just saying, I love Dosh on your doorstep. I've never seen it before. It's good, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? We liked Callum. He was, he was lovely. Um, so, listen, with this, you know, we're used to sort of seeing you doing the documentaries, very hard-hitting, some, like, very serious subjects there. So this is kind of a, a move away from that to a bit more entertainment. Just explain how it works. It's like a massive leap, isn't it? I know, totally opposite ends of the spectrum. It's really daft, but it's really fun. So, yeah, essentially, um, I go into a house and there are three imposters and one genuine homeowner, and then we've got to sort of try and figure out who's telling the truth. And then we wrap these videos into little VTs, and then we sort of hand them over to a celeb panel, and they've got to fight amongst themselves and try and suss out who really owns the house. See, I, what I love about this is we all love a bit of escapism at the moment. That's certainly what I'm into. <laughs> and at the same time, we all love a bit of a snoop around yeah. someone else's house. Love it. 100%. That's why, I mean, it's, it's the perfect gig for me because I've just bought this house in July and I can't tell you, I'll bore, every, I'll bore just everyone to tears. I'm so excited by interior. So when they said, oh, do you fancy this? I was like, 100%, I'd love to do it. So you're, um, you've got the celebrity panel there who are the same every week, mm -hmm. so they're guessing um, who's telling the truth and who's lying. But you're also kept in the dark. You wanted to sort of play along as well. Are you any good at spotting the liars? Oh, and a couple of times I got it right. And uh, there were a few, there were a few situations where I was barking totally up the wrong tree. <laughs> I was adamant. I thought it's definitely his house, like one hundred percent. And you know, it's definitely not a highbrow show, but it does show that we have these sort of preconceived ideas. You know, or you would live here, or you wouldn't quite live here. Um, so there are a couple of surprises. Yeah. So also then, so you've got the four people, and you introduce a partner. Um, so that is really the partner to one of those people, and has to act as the partner to the other three. Yeah, that's my favourite bit of the whole show. So we've got, you know, might be the husband sat on the sofa and he's not allowed to say a word, right? He's got to remain completely silent. And then his real wife will come in and say, oh, do you know, we're delighted, we're so in love, we got married in the Caribbean, X, Y, Z. And then three strangers will walk in and come up with equally sort of elaborate stories and the guy's just sat there and he sort of wants the floor to open he's so you know he's so awkward <laughs> it's just it's my favorite bit i love it and so uh, obviously the judges are the same on the panel you can sort of get guest judges who come in as well who's the best uh -huh. judge can you tell us that or or not um jamali's pretty good so we've got a wicked lineup we've got emily atak who yeah. is such a sweetheart we haven't worked together before um judy love who is a scream she's so much fun Bill Bailey, total gent, um, and Jamali Maddox, but Jamali's good, I've got to say, yeah. He's, um, he's sharp. It's, uh, it's, Holly said right at the very beginning, sort of a bit of a departure for you. We're oh, used to you doing mm. sort of hard-hitting documentaries. This is quite a nice sort of box to tick, isn't it? Because I assume you're going to still be doing that sort of journalistic side of your career, and at the same time, you can have a bit of a laugh, and we all need that. Mm. Just, well, that's it, and I feel really lucky, Phil. Like, I don't take it for granted. Um, you know, I'm really fortunate that like, I can do the documentaries that I'm really proud of and like, I really believe in. Um, but also, like, total escapism. Like, entertainment is, is so much fun. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky that I'm able to dip in between the two. And then you've got DNA Family Secrets, which I think concluded last week, if I'm right. And that, another, it's, you know, a lot of things are so fast and instant nowadays. But with that, the process is quite a long, slow process, but one that you enjoy because ultimately there's so much fulfilment in something like that. Yeah, do you know, it took us well over a year to make that series. Um, and yeah, again, sort of proper grown up television, I suppose. So we found the most amazing contributors. They were just so accommodating and, and so generous, actually, with their time and allowing us in because they had these pretty enormous questions that often had followed them around most of their lives. I mean, there was a guy who everyone fell for, a guy called Bill in his 70s, and he never really had a true idea of who his father was. And so we were able to work with genealogists, geneticists, social workers, 
and um, yeah, found sort of family members that he had no idea existed in the States. Mm -hmm. The thing is Amazing. with um, with you is uh, you always seem like really prepared. You know, you've obviously done the groundwork, you've done the work that's involved, and then along comes the great celebrity <laughs> Bake Off, of which you seem completely and absolutely unprepared. Well, and do you know, I, I I'm so mortified that this is ever going to see the light of day. It's one of those gigs where you say it's for charity. I'd love to do it. Thank you ever so much for thinking of me. <laughs> At the minute I walked into that tent, I won't give too much away, but you know, you sort of do your conclusive sort of interview at the end. The producer looked at me and he went, he went, Stacey, I'm not going to insult your intelligence and ask how well you think you've done. <laughs> 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 oh, God. So oh, didn't, really? didn't you cook with, with Kevin through lockdown? Everybody else baked through lockdown. Well, this is it. The whole of the UK were baking except me, clearly. But uh, it's just one calamity after another. It is just unmultified. I was hoping that by some miracle we were going to lose the rushes, but <laughs> no, no it goes it's, out on uh, Tuesday. It's next Tuesday for Stand Up to Cancer if you want to watch that. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. And how's obviously you moved into the new house. So you and Kevin, everything, you've been in lockdown, so like everybody else in life, but things have been really good. Yeah, do you know, I feel so lucky to have him. You know, I'm so mindful that people have... Some people have had to do lockdown alone and I can't imagine how lonely that must be. So he's upstairs at the minute, he's on another Zoom. You know what it's like sort of fighting for room. You've both got work and you've got... To... So I'll have this room and then I'll be quiet and you do the hoovering, but I've got a call at 12, la, la, la. Um, but, yeah, we're both very good. No, and in a new it. place as well, which you are obviously very excited about. I just, I just love it. I feel like a proper grown-up. I've always had flats. I've never had my own front door, never had a garden. So now I really feel like I'm living the high life. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely. It. Well done, it. you. Um, thank you <laughs> very much indeed. It's no, always lovely to you. talk to you. Uh, no, and this, uh, this is my house. It's tonight at nine on BBC One. Thank you. See you soon. Thanks, bye, bye. Take bye care. Now. Bye.